guys, hey, it's John here, and this is our new channel. I just wanted to go over a couple things with you guys today, so I just got this today. So, can't quite see it, there it is. That's my CDL permit, guys. So, good news is I went into the DMV, I'm in the state of Oregon, passed it, no problem. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a couple pointers if you guys are gonna be taking that permit test and or you know, doing your test or practicals, any of that kind of stuff. So obviously I didn't do the practical yet, but I'm also here at the truck school. So as you can see, there's a truck right there. And basically, um, I just had to get that out of the way so that way I could actually start driving. Uh, the biggest thing that I would recommend to you guys though, if you are thinking of getting your CDL or wanna get your CDL or uh, need some help getting it, is start studying for it. So once you understand those fundamentals, you can really exceed and do well. I would really say the one that really helped me, there's an app on your phone that you can get, and it's called CDL Prep, okay? So it looks like this, essentially. So you're able, let me see if I can get that to zoom in, and uh, I don't have my remote right now, I'm in the truck. Anyways, um, you have a practice mode and an exam mode. And it also looks like this on Google Play, so that way you guys can kind of see what that looks like. CDL prep. It is. All right, it looks like that, guys. See if you can see that enough. So there you go. Yeah. So basically, it's like a looks almost like a Pokemon ball. I don't know if you guys play Pokemon at all, but it's basically like a circle with uh, the bottom side of it cut off into three or two sections. So, anyways, it's CDL prep, and it says Jeffrey Diaz contains ads. That's the correct one. Anyways, that's on Google Play. Apple Store is going to look a little different probably, but it is there, I'm sure. So that one helps you a lot on your CDL prep. And you can go through, and it's got over 200 questions, and you don't even have to do all 200. You could do five questions, 10 questions, 50, it doesn't matter. And then you hit the submit button, and it grades them. So if you don't have a lot of time, you can just get on there and do some questions and know what you got wrong, and it also gives reasoning as well. That was very helpful for me. Also, the other one that I'm going through for the truck school is 160 Driving Academy, and I'm doing the one based at Albany, Oregon, but uh, they have schools in different parts of the United States. They're very good, and I was able to pass that CDL test. Like I said, the whole first several days of class, first full week technically, uh, just weekdays, right? It's only five days a week, is uh, just getting you ready for the test, literally. And they go over all the information, so all the book information. It's kind of death by PowerPoint, guys. So uh, there is that. But it helped me pass that test, flying colors, no problem. Um, I did take that CDL permit, though, back in 2017 when I was in high school, my senior year, right before I got out, because uh, I went into the utility industry, and I just never got my license. Just because, you know, uh, there are some complica complications, was not able to actually get the physical drive portion. And I was also under 21 then, so it was intrastate, being that it was in the state. So if you guys don't aren't aware of that one, um, instead of interstate, you got to be over 21 to get interstate to where you can drive in between the states. So um, there was that, and then I went in the military. And so I was like, well, I'll just get it either in the military or right as I get out, which here I am now. So long story. I uh, made it into a short story, basically. But that's what I would say. Use that CDL prep app. And if you can, try to go to a drug school, guys. They have modified classes. You can go, um, you know, nighttime, evening classes for like two months where it's like half the amount of, well, it's the same amount of time, but um, extended over a longer period of time to where you do the whole thing. Or you can even do like a two-week class to where you already have understanding of CDL, like commercial driving um, whereabouts and stuff right and how to do it you just need that refresher slash training in the actual licensing drive portion so that's another recommendation of mine guys um, and like I said turn the camera here you can see they're actually you get to go and drive in the yard you get to go experience the whole thing they check your 90 degree backing they take you out on the road everything like that so they get you really geared up uh, highly recommend it guys and um, another thing too, download your DM, state's DMV online PDF and read through that a little bit. I downloaded mine and read it. Um, and all it is is type in your state DMV, go on their website. All of them have a website. And you can go through the manual section and then find your CDL and go through that. And then it also tells you in the book which sections you should study based off your general knowledge. Uh, and any endorsements that you want to take. So as a CDL driver, you're going to take general knowledge, 
air brakes, and um, combinations. Those are three are part of the just general CDL. And then the other endorsements that are optional that you can get, which I highly recommend if you're wanting to do truck driving full time, is, uh, is gonna be your doubles, triples. So those are a test right there. And then you're also gonna have your tanker. So if you wanna haul fuel and stuff like that, and then hazmat guys. Hazmat, you need hazmat and tanker if you wanna haul fuel though, think about that. Um, most likely anyways, right? So there is that. But like I said, that's just good information. And the questions that I got wrong, I got one question wrong on general knowledge and one wrong on combo. And they were both kind of shoot me in the foot, really easy uh, questions. And I was like, shit, you know, excuse my French, but uh, I pretty much knew the answer. It's just, you know, I second guess myself on it. So don't second guess yourself at all. Uh, you can get 100%. But, uh, but that being said, uh, I wish I could remember which questions and tell you guys all these verbatim, but I don't remember all of them. The majority of them, it was fairly common sense, and if you knew the information, like the air leakage rates, for example, on like straight trucks versus combos, it's straight trucks, non-combo, it's two and three. So um, just FYI, three if the brakes are applied, right? Uh, engine's off, and then two if the brakes are not applied and the engine is off, it can lose a little less. And then combo is just the same concept except three and four PSI in 60 seconds. Uh, I just have those memorized. And then also, if you know also just like your different safety hazards, and then you know a little bit of your signage, they didn't really do too much other than the railroad crossing and uh, and stuff like that. Um, let's see, what else was there? Uh, also, you have a thing called brake leg for air, air brakes. I remember that really easy, but essentially it takes longer to stop with air brakes than hydraulic brakes because you have brake leg as the air goes through the system, which you don't have the same thing in hydraulic brakes. Uh, let's see, what else was it? I'm trying to think of the ones that I missed, those two, what they wore. I tried not to think about them because I was like, dang, nabbit, that I missed them. Uh, I didn't want it to interfere with my testing mindset for the rest of it. <sighs> if I could think about them, you know, if I could only think about them. Just thinking, I'm really thinking. I feel like I've got young timers, all timers I call it, but young timers since I'm younger. Uh, gosh, I don't know what it's called. I don't know what those ones were, honestly. Mm, they were something silly though, guys. It was really silly. Um, something that you could get right, it's just you may second guess yourself on it since the second answer looks so good. So just don't do that, be careful. Use those testing materials, guys. CDL Prep, download it. It's on the Google Play Store. It's also on the Apple Play, I'm sure. Uh, I don't use Apple, but I'm sure it is there. And uh, that's a really good one that's gonna help you a lot and then also, Try, I recommend go to a drive school. If you can go, they'll help you pass all that stuff. And they'll also give you really good and valuable training. So I'm getting my CDL for the utility industry for doing line work and power lines. But um, yeah, there's all walks of life, guys. And you meet some pretty neat people. And I highly encourage you guys, you'll learn a lot. I mean, you learn a lot about this. You do 90 degree backing, straight backing, right turn, left turn. Um, they take you out and about on the open road your third week going in and you practice all of your turns, get comfortable on the road as well. So there's a lot of good stuff for you guys. And I don't wanna chime on this anymore, but uh, essentially with this channel, I'm gonna have anything and everything and it's gonna be very random. So I already got a channel that I do on finance called Dividend Journey. Uh, it's not super big, just over 2000 subs, but, uh, but I enjoy doing finance stuff. I love doing, you know, some random stuff as well. If you know me, I like to, spice things up a little bit and be a little random and weird so that being said guys you know maybe going into the future i'll include some stuff on line work and stuff like that when i'm actually working at the utility things that i can't actually put on video of course right and uh and all that kind of stuff guys and just when i do weird things like sometimes i'll be doing electrical work tree work you know i'll be doing uh go shooting you know maybe different things i'm in the military so maybe different tactics that i could teach you guys a little bit you know, drop me a comment down below if there's something weird or interesting or something that you'd be like, man, you should avoid that. Uh, I'd love to hear it. And if you guys are watching and you've made it this far, definitely give me a like and maybe even subscribe, you know, if you like the randomness of John's life. And you guys stay tuned and take care. All right, peace.